welcome back guys. I am still using the Heavy Damage 2.0 and I have been climbing with it. If you follow me on stream, you can see I gained, I think, 200, 200 points so far with the Heavy Damage 2.0. We are at 2500. By the time this video lands, I think we should be at 2600. So I'm very excited and I'm still excited to talk about this team. And again, guys, don't forget that in the lead, we have again Armored Mewtwo. And in the back, we still have the Cat Wolverine Perserker. And then to do the most damage of the whole team, Gengar. So guys, in these videos, I want to showcase some of the opponents as well, which is an Obstagoon, and that is what we have to face, because now more Giratinas running, uh, what should we call it, uh, Shadow Claws, instead of Dragon Brand. So Obstagoons are coming out more and more often because Giratina is actually winning that, uh, that matchup. So for that reason, we see way more goons. So you have to be careful if you suspect. I will show you when you can suspect they have a goon in the back. And especially now, guys, thanks to you, by the way, for so many people using this team, the Heavy Damage 2.0. By the way, if you're still using this team, so many of you told me you gained 20, you up to 2700, 2600 with this team. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories. But now more people will know how to play against this team. And at our very first match with this team, guys, you will see exactly what I'm talking about because our opponent know what we are up to and they knew right away what to do and they actually beat us in the first match. So I wanted to showcase that and that happened now a few times that they know we are going to let our Mewtwo go so they out us no. So we might have to change up our lineup but as for right now, I'm still gaining points and I hope you do too as well. All right, let's go. First match. All right, so Orbo Mewtwo into Gyarados. So this is perfect for us, otherwise they have Crunch. The reason why I'm saying it's perfect for us is because we want to lose the lead and they're definitely going to shield at least one here. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Unless they have something super weak against Armor Mewtwo in the back, but I don't think so. And Crunch do, does a lot of damage, so they just have to shield once and they win this matchup, which their goal is to win, our goal is to lose. So. They're probably going to... Oh boy, no, they're letting it go. They're letting it go. This is bad. This is bad for us. Now the whole team composition is thrown off, unfortunately, because we need it to lose, because now we won't have the energy advantage and we have still have equal shields. And our team, dependent on what he has in the back, is not good. So with the Perserker, we're all right, we're coming in. Uh, Perserker can take on this. We can even tank this, but we're going to shield just to be safe. Um, so we are going to shield one just the Surf, but Surf is still doing pretty good amount of damage, so we're gonna, but we're gonna let this one go through. I just knew he had so much energy, I didn't want to take two of them. As you guys can see, it's a pretty big chunk. But now we have double close combat, so we're gonna throw one. I think we're gonna get a shield from this, at this point. No shield still! So all they have left is Swampert, and they capped all of their shield to that Swampert. So that's, that's tricky, guys. But we can easily win, well, I wouldn't say easily win this, because we don't have as much shields. So that's why, guys, it's super important. So what I have learned, by the way, is that if they don't use a single shield, then they're supposed to, with one shield, they're supposed to win the matchup. They either know already our team, which is very probable because thousands of people have seen the videos. And, you know, at around rank nine, the meta is not that wild. So they probably have heard of this team and they know how to play against it, which have happened because some of these people actually <laughs> reached out to me afterwards on Twitter and said, I knew what you have in the back. So I didn't shield and I played your game. I let my lead go. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, great. So you know it. So, but that was very, very close. And I don't know if he was one of them who actually reached out to me. I don't think it was him. So he just outplayed me, I think at that point, but, um, but yeah, guys, so what I have learned the hard way, which I have an example for it at the very end of these five sets, I have a bonus one. At the end of it, I show you what I have learned. It's basically, if they don't shield up front, just like we don't shield up front, then they have something weak for against our Armored Mewtwo, and they have something, I'm sorry, not weak, strong against Armored Mewtwo, and they have something in the back that will dis destroy basically our team a double shield like an Obstagoon or and something like that. You will see, guys. I, so I I, call, I have that in the back. I wanted to show you. But anyways, so now this is good for us. We obviously... Oh, they swap instantly. So I think this is the person that I knew. He knew our team because they instantly swapped out. And they brought in Giratina when they supposed to win the one shield um, with their... Uh, what do you call it? With their birdie. So 
I think he was one of them who reached out to me. I could be wrong though, guys, but that's what I'm thinking. Anyways, so somehow, some way, we I wanted to swap out on the charge move, but it didn't work out to a Perserker because uh, that's enough for us to uh, farm down. And somehow, some way, that that Giratina outpaced us. If you guys see that, so somehow he had more energy when it swapped in and sneaked in more because we were only able to throw one side strike, which is crazy. But anyways. Um, we have our Perserker, which we want, but this thrown off us a little bit, and we still, unfortunately, still have all shields, which is a problem for us. It's a problem for big time. And then that, there's a Swampert, of course, and then uh, we just have to throw a close combat from here. Hopefully, he doesn't shield, and he does shield this time, which is a problem. We tried to swap out on a charge move. We got locked in accidentally, so now we're gonna have to basically let this go and then come back in with our Swampy. I mean, sorry, with our uh, with our uh, Gengar, and now, uh, yeah, I. I really think he knew our team because otherwise why would he do that? I think he was one of them who told me on the on stream message and said that I just played you or something. Anyways, doesn't matter. The, so we are in trouble <laughs> because they it's gonna debuff us so bad and that's the biggest problem. We have no other Pokemon to clear out the debuff and we would win this actually if we would not be debuffed because we're gonna have so much energy See, see, look at this. We have so much energy, we're gonna be able to throw a Shadow Ball here, and we'll be able to throw a Shadow Ball into that Swampert, but unfortunately, because... Look at this. So we can get to it, I think, right? We can get to the Shadow Ball, and if we were full, no debuffs, this would uh, take out that Swampert. But because you're double debuff, look at look how low it did. It barely did anything compared to what it's supposed to do. So GG is right there. Right there. If I, if he didn't know we have a Gengar and a Perserker in the back, he would not swap out with that Articuno because he wins with Articuno. You know what I mean? So I'm like, ugh. anyways, so next match. But that's what happens when you put your team out there. People will know. <laughs> anyways, so now again to Giratina. So again, this is what I want to see. And what you supposed, to, what we're supposed to get here is, guys. By the way, if you go to PV Poke, you can clearly see it. You can get off two side strikes with no shield against the Giratina. So that's what we are hoping for. But for, they can sneak in a Shadow Claw each time we are trying to throw an attack. Therefore, they're outpacing us right now and we are not able to sneak in any. So because of that reason, we're not able to get to a second side strike. And that was the theme for the past two days. But all the other days before and the last seasons, every single time, guys, I was able to get to the second side strike. Do you guys see that? They are able to get in one additional and we are not able to get to the side strike. Where in the regular times before that, we are able to get to double side strike. But anyways, it is what it is. We know this is still fine because we come in with our Pearl Circle and just a Dragon Claw and we're gonna able to farm down from here. And this is just another Dragon Claw unless he farmed up for more energy. If it's a Shadow Snake that would be crazy. It is a Shadow Snake. How did he get to a Shadow Snake already? Oh boy. Anyways, so that's pretty bad for us. Because the shields are all up. The shields are all up. Alright, let's see guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, alright, this is beautiful. We can throw double close combat. So shields are gonna be flying right now. Alright, here goes one. We're gonna swap out. And then we're gonna bring in our Gengar because our Gengar will do amazingly against this Escavalier from this range. It's just one Shadow Ball or one Shield, and we can outpaste it after this Shield. So this is totally fine. But it brings in Man Metal, which is just as good. We're just gonna throw a Shadow Ball. We almost have the second Shadow Ball. So this is beautiful right here, right now, still. All right, he Shields. We got the Shield. We can actually let this one go through, but we are not going to. But because we have the Shield, so why not? And then we can outpaste this with a Shadow Ball. So this is perfect. And let's go. Let's go. We got this, guys. We got this, guys. We're gonna win this, right? <laughs> so there goes the Shadow Ball. And then we're gonna need to farm it down. So we're gonna survive this, by the way, which is totally fine. So we're gonna farm it down. We have enough energy and we can actually get to uh, that Shadow Ball very easily because we resist the, the whatchamacallit, the counters. So there goes, what was it, game two or game three? Either way, there goes a Shadow Ball and we win that one. All right, that was a good game actually. That was that was rough, very close. And again, it's just the energy at gaining is a little bit thrown off right now with the confusions. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, how is it right now with the with the gains and the losses of energy? What, how you guys are doing right now? All right, MBJ1337, let's go. So Mewtwo right into Articuno. So again, watch this guys, he, everybody stays in unless they know my team. They, I have never pop out. So yeah, they're staying in, as you can see. We're throwing side strike. We, get a, we usually get a shield up front. Yep, there goes the shield. And then after that, we don't get any more shields because they're gonna debuff us and it's not a problem for them. So this is beautiful. So, all right, we debuffed one. And then we're gonna get more debuffs, so it's all right. 
they don't need to shield anymore unless they, for some reason, super weak for armor mutant and they want to get rid of it. They double shield, but usually they just use one shield because they're gonna win. They one shield here. So like I said, guys, they would never support if they don't know our team. Okay, and then now uh, he's gonna able to basically farm us down. Oh, actually, it looks like we're able to sneak in additional energy, right? He's gonna shield this. He's gonna have to shield it to win. Yep, he used double shield. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, we're definitely getting one extra confusion. All right, now I feel a little bit better. We sneaked in one somehow, <laughs> I think, because that's not supposed to happen, I don't think. Anyways, so uh, now we come in with our Berserker, and we're gonna be able to farm it down. He's gonna be able to get to Ice Wind, or actually, he just didn't throw his energy. He wanted to farm us down, so that's why we we're able to throw that. Never mind. Yeah, because usually they throw the side strike instead of farming us down. Oh no, they do farm down. I think we get another short confusion or something. Anyways. So, oh, they have a Mewtwo, which is totally fine, but we are debuffed. But we're gonna throw one, and we're gonna have to extra throw, because our Gengar, guys, oh boy, look at this. Oh boy, those confusions add up. We're gonna have to shield here, but luckily a Shadow Call should take care of that uh, Mewtwo, because Mewtwo will be super weak, but he swaps out instantly into Swampert, which is also good, because we're gonna throw a Shadow Ball right into that Swampert right now, and... Oh yeah, just like that. Oh yeah, look, do you see how much damage it does? So now you guys can see that I would have won that if you don't get double debuff, but obviously we got double debuff because they had Articuno. But they swapped out, so they're not supposed to have that Articuno <laughs> because it was supposed to go down against my Mewtwo. All right, we win that one as well. Great game. But uh, it is what it is. When we showcase the team and how we play, you know how to play. <laughs> and, but it is what it is. I still love this team, guys, but now more people know how to play against it. So if you've been using this team, let me know in the comments. I have received so many messages from you guys that you have got to rank 9, you got to 2700, 2600 points with this team. So I would love to know how you are still doing with this team. I guarantee you that more and more people know how to play against it at this point. So be careful because they're gonna suspect it and I see way more, way more goons out there. Goons? Uh, uh, Obstagoons and uh, and Zangooses, even double, which is horrible. So the only thing I could recommend is literally replace uh, Gengar or Perserker with Machamp, just when you suspect that you're gonna face so many Obstagoons and uh, Zigzagoons, because when that happens, I mean Zangooses, sorry, not Zigzagoons, Zangoos. So Zangoos and Obstagoons, all right, another rank 10, let's go. Revy 5, Thing 1 or whatever, what's his name, right? Anyways, but what I'm trying to say is, guys, that, yeah, all right, Esk, we love this, because we're gonna take no shield, we're not gonna shield, and we're gonna take one of those big hurting mega horns. Because we can throw the dynamic punch, and let's see if we get a shield from this. It's either, uh, we need a shield, actually. All right, perfect. And then I don't mind, because we're gonna survive a mega horn, and we possibly, I think we can throw up a side strike with a mega horn, it depends. So mega horn comes through, and yeah, we can get to a side strike, so this is not a problem at all. And then that's perfect, that's what we wanted. We don't want shield, and now we can come in with our Gengar and farm it down, with obviously using a shield. But that's what we want, we want the energy advantage. So now we can come in with our Gengar, use a shield, and farm it all the way down. Yep, using the shield. This is what we want, this is why we want uh, Armored Mewtwo to lose. So this is beautiful. And then now, what he has a Lapras. So again, this is tricky because those ice, ice shards, right? That's what it is for us, it really add up very quickly. But luckily, we already have so much energy with the Shadow Ball, and he didn't uh, shield because it probably thinks we had Focus Blast and it was way too soon. So, so many people run Focus Blast to unlock, and we do not. And then now we bring in our Perserker, and he has a Cresselia! <laughs> Welcome, Cresselia. I missed you so much. We got in a foul play before he could debuff us, so but he shields obviously, and then we got in another foul play before he can debuff us. So, that's just beautiful for us. That's just great. That's just beautiful right there. And at this point, he lost this match. There's no way he can come back from this. At least I hope so. <laughs> but um, yeah, then no, it's it's over already. And then because we can really outpace this, we're going to farm additional energy. We're going to survive this no matter what. Hopefully we don't get a debuff. But um, we just need to farm more and more. One, two, and one more. And then I should have farmed one more, but it's all right. And then now we're going to be able to outpace that Lapras to, to a close combat. So that should be right there beautiful but uh to be safe to farm one extra against that uh that Priscilla because that to be extra safe <laughs> but we still had gengar so we won that match that was great so but that's exactly why guys we need to lose that match that lead all right last match guys so right here watch this so armor mutu sorry it's a little bit faster than usual because i want it to be quick so armor mutu into togekiss this is beautiful we want this we are hoping that uh, they are shielding that's what we want and he shields all right that's what we wanted perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
and an Avi not gonna shield here. They can win the one shield here, by the way. And uh, um, Echo, oh, no, no, sorry, they cannot win the one shield. They would have to double shield, but they don't. But we win, so that's a problem. So because they win and they didn't double shield, they don't want to win. That gives me the idea that I need to keep my Arbor of Mewtwo because otherwise they would have. Uh, not, oh, there we go. See, there goes Obstagoon. So good thing we kept our uh, Arbor of Mewtwo. It's a huge key at this point because now we can, and we can, we need to let go our uh, Gengar. We're just gonna throw all the Shadow Balls to lower its health just to be safe and because dynamic punch doesn't do as much damage as close combat with, from U2 versus uh, Berserker. So now it's good, now it's in both range, so we are good. And they still have one shield, we're obviously not gonna shield here, they have tons of energy. So what we're gonna have to do, come into our armor Mewtwo and throw right away, like literally right away, perfect. And we're gonna get a shield here. Yep, there goes the shield, we swap right away, and then farm, 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 and throw our close combat right there. They are shieldless, so this is beautiful. Yep, and there goes the game, and he comes in with Curse Steel, and they lost at that point, and we won that one. So what I was trying to say, guys, is that um, when, you when you win the lead, you have to keep your, uh, what should we call it, Armor Mutual alive, because there is something in the back, only if you suspect it, guys. If you suspect a goon in the back, you have to keep it alive to be able to throw it just like that, because if you don't suspect a goon in the back, then no, don't swap out, because then you're gonna get locked in with your Gengar, just like I did. But that's why I come in with a Gengar, because I can lose the Gengar when I have two Pokemon in the back, like Armor Mewtwo, loaded on energy, and a Perserker with a little bit of energy. So the whole point that I did that is because I was suspecting, because they didn't shield, they didn't want to win the lead after they invested one shield. So that gave me the idea that, all right, they're going to do something and they have something in the back that's weak. Anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow.